thanks for coming. Thanks for joining. I mean, this is awesome. We have Ron from Israel, Anthony from Ireland, and Mike from the US. And I would like to first give you some uh, introduction. What is the idea about? Like, uh, I mean, since you all know, we all have been in Hangzhou and we all spent certain time over there, some longer, some a bit, some a bit shorter. But uh, indefinitely, this is what connects us, like, because we are all Chinese medicine practitioners who spent certain time in Hangzhou, and I would like to keep these connections. Therefore, I was building up a, com uh, a community on my website, and I would like to keep these friendships and these connections with people I met in Hangzhou, like you guys. And I would also like to inspire more people, more students, to come to Hangzhou and to give them some kind of brave overview, to give them some kind of explanations, uh, especially from these people who went there. And that's not only me, no, that's you guys, and you have your own experience. And what should be better uh, to arrange some kind of online meeting where everyone is able to talk about the experience? And this is what's gonna take place today. In the beginning, I would first like that everyone takes a short time and if you may introduce yourself, like tell a little bit about yourself, um, your name, of course, where you come from, where you're staying right now, a little bit of what you've been doing in Hangzhou. Uh, you can also talk about what kind of projects, for example, you are uh, at the moment in. So just like a brief overview about yourself. I'm from Israel. My name is Ran. Um, I came to Chinese medicine like uh, maybe by accident. Not accident, but I wasn't sure I want to do it. And I, when I was released from the army, it was pretty much popular here. And I was uh, thinking uh, to try and um, study it for one year and if I'm interested so just uh, move on and it <clears throat> kind of suck, sucked me inside to this huge Chinese medicine world and the studies in Israel is really deep I think I have a really a good and deep background of Chinese medicine, but uh, I felt that my clinical experience is really lack. Um, even the practitioner who considered to be busy in here, I don't see much of patients. And I wasn't confident to come to a clinic and to put a needle or to do twina or to prescribe the herbs, so I felt it's like must for me to do this experience in China. If you want to experience Twina, you go to Twina departments and you have those amazing doc doctors. If you want to do acupuncture, you just choose acupuncture. If you want to do herbs, you do herbs, whatever you want. And <clears throat> it's really opened my mind for different systems for different uh, practices and of course for the culture, which is amazing. Um, this is how I came to Hangzhou the first time. Um, for me, I'll, I'll try to make it as brief as I can, but uh, I started um, my studies of Chinese medicine kind of through my martial arts experience. Um, I have about, uh, 40 years of martial arts training. So I, I moved to Japan in 1983 and uh, was training martial arts there and then was introduced to acupuncture. And um, as a consequence, I had a big interest in it. And I ran a karate school in Los Angeles, uh, California for many years. And then in about 2008, um, I visited China. I had a I had a dream to visit Huangshan um, for my birthday, and I went to Huangshan. And as a result, I visited uh, Hangzhou. And uh, speaking of Dr. Wu Bo Ping, I had a note with me that I carried on the train that was written in Chinese, and it said, "I'm interested in Chinese medicine. Can you please teach me something?" 
So I happened to be wandering around down on uh, Hufengjie, and I, I came across the Hu Qing Yutang, and I handed the, the note to somebody, and they said, oh, come, come, come with me. And so they took me upstairs. There were about 50 or 60 people in a room. I'm sure you guys know. And uh, there was Dr. Wu Bo Ping. And he asked me to sit down. Of course, he, speak, he spoke perfect English. And that was kind of my introduction <clears throat> to Dr. Wu Bo Ping. And then he suggested that um, I come to Hangzhou to study Chinese medicine. I had already been enrolled for about three or three years in a school in Los Angeles, and I decided to just drop everything and move to Hangzhou to study. So um, I moved there in 2009, and I was there from uh, 2009 to 2012 for the master's program in acupuncture. But as a result, you know, I studied also. Um, the Twina and, and herbal study as well. You know, I tried to do everything that I could. Why did you came to Hangzhou, Tony? Like, what were your first steps? Like, why didn't you go to Shanghai, for example, or to Beijing? Or why didn't you took uh, the program in whole Chinese? I studied probably a little bit like Ran, in that I was technically a part, or what you call a short-term student. Um, but I was there for a year and a half. Um, and I was building up my hours to get my Irish license. Oh, so it was very much focused on clinical experience for me. I had classes, but it was mostly clinical experience. And it was mostly, it was pretty much, it was mostly acupuncture and tuena. Um, I decided to focus on those because I think acupuncture and tuena, you can learn those skills in China and you can apply them anywhere on earth. Herbal medicine is a little bit more difficult. As in the herbs they use in China are di different. The quality is different, uh, the dosaging, the herb drug interactions, people, you know, there's a lot of other stuff there. So I, I left the herbs to the side and I just focused on acupuncture and tuena. Um, I came back, I got my license, I worked on cruise ships for three years and now I have a clinic here in Ireland and uh, in the southwest in Kerry. And every week I fly over to London for one day a week and I'm studying the MSc in Chinese herbal medicine in Westminster with our good friend Volker Scheid and uh, a few other lads. Um, also study with Chen Xiaojun, who was, uh, he taught us both acupoints, didn't he? Mark? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was the guy from Guangzhou. That's right, that's right. right. Yes, yeah. yes. This guy is like textbook. Like you want to see his yeah. acupuncture treatments. The needles are perfect. They're symmetrical. They're exactly <laughs> like they look in the textbook. So I study with him to have the other side of the coin with acupuncture. And I also study with Lu Zong, uh, the herbalist. But I wasn't studying herbs with him. I was mostly studying um, uh, kind of diagnostic theory and pulse and tongue diagnosis. Thanks again for joining. Like we all met in Hangzhou. My name is Tim, Tim Wukan. I had my first steps into China in 2004 where I arrived in Beijing and my backpack was lost. So I totally experienced China from the, uh, the quite heavy way. So what it means to change your whole habits and to start from the beginning. So I was also learning Chinese language. And as you all know, like I did my degrees, like the bachelor and the master, I did that in Chinese language. And I didn't regret that because uh, if you always have the language with you, um, you first understand more patients in the clinic and you can, of course, easier communicate with doctors and of course also looking to more Chinese books, but it was quite a struggling way. Um, I started in Hangzhou with the first year of the bachelor's and then I moved to Kunming. So I had my second year of the bachelor over there because I was also interested in the minority medicine, minority medicine. And I also wanted to do more research about the herbalism over there. But then after a year, I switched back to Hangzhou because it was easier, because it was more with uh, foreigner classes. In Kunming, we only had Chinese classes with 50 Chinese students and with no opportunity to ask questions or to get a little bit into 
the conversation with the teacher, which which is quite different in Hangzhou because like classes are smaller, usually um, fit with uh, foreigners coming from Western countries, of course, also from Asian countries like Korea and uh, Hong Kong, Malaysia. But in Kunming, it was different. So it was quite nice also to see Kunming, also for living over there, for seeing a lot of herbal medicines over there. They have like a huge herbal market over there, which is quite interesting to see. And so I also made my way um, graduating with the bachelor. Then I took uh, part in 2012 in the national medical license test in China. 